Well hello and another very warm welcome back all my vintage motocross loving YouTubers and hello especially to my extremely loyal uh, subscribers. Now in this next video posting we're going to take a look at a very nice hybrid twin shocker that was uh, built using a 1984 frame and a 1983 uh, motor. So without uh, any further delay let's all just take a look at Trevor Calderwood's lovely at Monda 500 Twin Shock Hybrid. Now because this particular bike's a hybrid, uh, naturally it's not an original factory bike of any kind, although uh, this machine was built uh, using a chassis from a 1984 Maiko and the motor uh, from a 1983 480 Honda. Now, as you'd expect, before the big two-stroke Honda engine could be slotted into the Michael chassis, the frame underwent uh, some surgery to enable it to sit in its uh, perfect position. And you can see here where the bottom uh, frame rails were altered to enable the big center port exhaust of the Honda motor uh, to exit. Now, the bike's owner, Trevor Calderwood from Newton Ards in Northern Ireland, uh, told me that the bike was initially built by Archie Baird in Scotland before uh, Trevor uh, then purchased it from him a few years ago. Now although the bike is a hybrid, uh, at first glance uh, you would certainly think that uh, this was still some sort of uh, factory produced machine as uh, everything just looks perfect on this bike and functional uh, for an old twin shock racer. Although anyhow the bike's frame forks and uh, front and rear wheels are all uh, genuine uh, Michael items. Now the plastics again are all uh, Michael parts and as you'd expect these fit uh, perfectly on this uh, 1984 uh, chassis. But of course the combination of the good handling of the Michael chassis and the power being supplied by what is uh, reputed to be one of the sweetest two-stroke engines Honda ever made, uh, the 1983-480, is uh, certainly a marriage uh, made for the racetrack. Now the bike's power plant, as I uh, just mentioned earlier, is a 1983 Honda 480 two-stroke motor with a five-speed gearbox. Now I'm sure you don't need me to tell you how brilliant uh, these 83 480 engines were and uh, these are still reputed uh, as being uh, one of the best two-stroke motors that Honda ever built and uh, if you've ever ridden a bike with one of these power plants in the frame then you'll know exactly uh, what I'm uh, talking about. Now Trevor had also told me that the tuning of the motor was done by uh, none other than uh, Nori Patti who of course uh, certainly knows his way around these big 480 uh, Honda motors. Now uh, Trevor also runs the engine on a mix of uh, Avgas and uh, petrol at a 50-50 uh, mix and he says that the bark that you get from this engine when it fires up is uh, just uh, certainly sweet music. Now a very nice PFR, uh, Pro Form Racing Expansion Chamber, which is a more modern interpretation of the old original uh, Michael design, but another very high quality part nonetheless, and of course a perfect uh, fit on uh, Trevor's uh, Monda. Although in terms of its power delivery and outright grunt, uh, these uh, 480 Honda motors uh, packed more than enough horses for your average rider and you had to be at the top of your league if you wanted to tame one of these uh, frighteningly quick uh, Honda engines. Now the L and B reference on these ignition covers is in relation to Loudon and Baird who make these uh, replacement uh, CNC alloy covers for these uh, big 480 Hondas. Now the front end of the bike is basically your standard Michael Forks and brake drum, although uh, the wheels are uh, newly laced SM Pro uh, Platinum rims. 
Now the bike's rear swing arm, as you can see, is not a standard off the shelf Michael part. And uh, to be fair, I'm not exactly sure myself who actually made this part, although when I did ask Trevor about it, uh, <laughs> even Trevor wasn't sure of the manufacturer's name. Uh, and uh, the bike actually came with the swing arm when uh, Trevor first bought it. But what he did tell me was that uh, while he was racing this bike in France, soon after these clips were snapped, uh, the swing arm uh, bent so badly that uh, he then just tossed it into the scrap pile. Now as far as I'm aware, this is a plastic fuel tank from an 83 Honda uh, 480. And uh, I think the seat again is uh, taken from about a bike of the same year and it's complete of course with these new uh, Monda graphics. Now the bike's side panels are of course unmistakably Michael Parts which uh, as you'd expect uh, just bolt straight onto that uh, 84 uh, Michael frame. Although despite this being just another of these uh, twin shock hybrids uh, you have to admit that this has still been a well-engineered and uh, put-together uh, motocross machine and from uh, what I've heard about this bike it's uh, pretty uh, damn quick on the track as well which of course uh, you'd expect with that uh, sharp handling Michael chassis and of course that uh, mega 480 Honda uh, two-stroke motor especially when it's being fueled by that 50-50 uh, petrol half-gas uh, mix now in this picture we can see Trevor enjoying his hybrid Monda at a classic and twin shock race event in his native Northern Ireland just a few years ago. Now since I shot these video clips and pictures of Trevor's Monda it's already started to undergo another transformation and upgrade and Trevor's sent me these recent pictures of what's been getting done on his Monda bike. Now the older original Michael Forks have now been replaced by these uh, much more modern Marzocchis and uh, the motors uh, also having some more work done and a brand new alloy airbox is being constructed. Now a new alloy square box section swing arms now been uh, bolted in place and a set of uh, brand new YSS uh, rear piggyback shocks have been uh, put in place at the back of the bike. And uh, Trevor assures me that uh, everything will be good to go for the start of the 2021 racing season so hopefully we'll catch up with Trevor in the new year and who knows uh, we'll maybe do an updated video on his uh, Monda race bike. Now one of the other new uh, parts on Trevor's bike was this uh, custom made Monda tank cover and here we can see it uh, just laid in place uh, just to check to see uh, how it fits. But it certainly suffice to say that Trevor uh, likes his uh, new Monda and hopefully if we can get rid of that uh, dreaded COVID-19 in 2021 we may be able to see uh, this bike in action on the track uh, sometime uh, next year. So there you have it, a nice uh, twin shock hybrid and a first look around uh, Trevor Calderwood's uh, Monda. Now don't forget if these are the kind of bikes that you like looking at here on YouTube then I do hope you will consider subscribing uh, to my channel. Okay next up we're going to take a look at more of those Alan Clues CCM classics from uh, British bike builder Rob Spry so I do hope you will return soon to see them when we check out more of these machines from back in the day right here on Classic Dirt Bike TV.